Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today we're going to talk about how to make a really basic polar plot or radar plot of ship motion using the ProDCS Shipmode 3D toolset and Excel. So for this, we're going to look at the generic frigate sample project, which you can see here. And let's just say, hypothetically, you are working on a seakeeping analysis and you've run your analysis in a range of conditions. So actually generated quite a lot of information uh, with a full three. You normally, you don't need to go through 360 degrees, but sometimes it's nice to just show that uh, that range because um, it's symmetric. And maybe you want to show this in a different format. Well, there are some limitations to what you can plot within the Shipmo 3D tool set like this, but I want to show a different way of, of a really quick way to show a different perspective on the data. So if we go back to Seakeep Random, um, you can see we've got a bunch of different forward speeds that we've considered, and it's in you know a, a three meter, uh, ten second John swap C state. And so what we're going to do is go to View Output, and you can you can look at this in a text editor as well if you want. It's it's text compatible. But what we're going to do is we're going to just select this um, motion information. This is the the ship. CG motion information, and we're going to create an Excel file to make a different kind of chart. So we'll make a brand new uh, file here, and I'm just going to paste everything in here. Now it's pasted it in as text, and you can't really make a chart from this right away. This is the this is kind of the crux of the the tutorial here. Um, so what you want to do is select the data that you've got in the, the actual numbers here, just the first column, which has everything in it. And we want to do text, sorry, convert text to table. Now you need to pick delimited here, which means that, you know, it's going to be looking for something that's separating the data points. And we want to pick out of that, it's basically white space. So, uh, oh, not comma, space, there we go, tab and space. You can see it's changed here. You see it's detecting that. Um, and we just go finish. Great. Now I haven't got the headers all lined up here, but I know that this is direction, um, surge, uh, RMS, and surge zero up crossing period, and so on for the other degrees of freedom. Now this is for zero for, zero knots forward speed. So I'm going to rename this just for clarity, and I'm going to make another one. We're going to paste the data in there for 10 knots, 20 knots. Ah, 20 knots. There we are. Okay, so go back to the output here. Scroll down a little bit. That's the sea keeping position output. Yes, what we want is 10 knots forward speed. So we'll copy this, left click, select this data. And in this in this workbook, it's remembered that we pasted in some similar data. So you actually don't have to do the convert text to table again. There's the data for 10 knots. Scroll down a little bit. Here we have the data for 20 knots forward speed. We'll paste the data in here. Okay, so let's make a little radar plot. So what you can do is um, uh, select the whole data range. You can you can just keep it simple and just uh, select what you want to plot to begin with, but it might make it a little bit easier if you have all the options here. Now I deliberately not select this last one because it's redundant with the zero position. And I just wanted to have a nice circular plot. So we'll, we'll go to, you can, there's a bunch of ways you can do this. Create chart, for example, and go all charts. But if you search for radar, you'll find it as well. We want to use the solid area. And then we want to have something that looks like this, where it's, it's filled radar. So we've got that 360 degree view. Now, right off the bat, it's going to show everything in the data series. That is to say the zero up crossing periods and, and everything. Right now, let's just say we want to look at surge motion. So what we'll do is we'll unselect all. And if you hover over series one, you can see it's highlighting the, the surge RMS motion. So we'll just click on that and apply. Great. There we go. So let's add a title here. Generic frigate RMS surge with forward speed. Uh, we'll rename this series as well. So series one, I'm just going to rename this series name zero knots. It'll show up in the legend and be kind of 
intuitive about what we're talking about. Now, what do you have to do? Because we need to get data from the other sheets, um, but you don't do it in groups. We'll just add it one by one. So we go add series name. So I'm going to call this 10 knots. And then the values, we're going to select our, let me make sure we get in that little Remember that little one thing there. We'll just select all the way down. So we're not selecting the last one here. Again, because it's the same as zero degrees. I go enter. Okay. We'll do it again for 20 knots. 20 knots. Go to 20 knots data here. Okay. And we're good. Now, the only other thing is, so here we have a nice sort of radar view of that, you know, zero to 180 degrees view of what the surge motion is like. Um, the only thing you may want to do is just adjust the coloring because it's kind of hard to see when the colors are on top of each other like this. It's pretty easy to do. You can right click and um, change the fill here. If you go to more fill colors, there's the transparency option. So I don't know, maybe you pick 75%. And oops, I don't want to use that gray value, but um, you know, we'll pick an orange color. And let's just do the other ones here. Fill, more fill colors, 75% transparency. And uh, maybe we'll have a nice purple color for that one. I think we need to do the 10 knots one. Oh, not that one. Uh, what if I go here and do this? More fill colors, 75%. There we are. And oh, let's change that 10 knots to something colorful. Green. All right, there you go. So there's a, obviously you can adjust the formatting and scale and all the things you want to do, but it's just another way, really quick way of getting a different view using um, Excel and using the data from Shipmo 3D in the Shipmo 3D toolset. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.